وأقول في القرآن ما جاءت به آياته فهو الكريم المنزل وأقول قال الله جل جلاله والمصطفى الهادي ولا أتأول الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على المبعوث رحمة للعالمين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد We begin as always with the praise of Allah Azza wa Jal mighty and majestic Just as we begin by asking Allah to exalt the mention and to grant peace to our messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the one who was sent as a mercy to all mankind. And we ask Allah Azza wa Jal to grant peace to his family, his companions, his followers, all those who follow them until the last day. Don't miss out. The concept behind or the idea behind this short series is to look at the times and the places and the situations which you and I can take advantage of to bring us nearer to Allah. And from the wisdom of Allah and from His perfect decree is that He created this life to test which of us are best in deeds, which of us are best in actions. And a part of this test is taking advantage of the different times and the different places and the different kind of situations that Allah has decreed that you find yourself in. The one who created death and life in order to test you which of you is best in action. And he is Al Aziz, the Almighty, Al Ghafur, the All Forgiving. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decrees many things to happen to you in your life. Many times that you encounter, many places that you visit, many situations you find yourself in. Some of them may seem positive, some of them may seem negative, but all of them are opportunities to get nearer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And within the different times and places and situations that people find themselves in, there are so, so many opportunities that we miss out on. And subhanAllah, our time on this earth is very, very limited and we have to take advantage of it. وَالْعَصَرْ إِنَّ الْإِنسَانَ لَفِي خُسْرْ إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ وَتَوَاصَوْا بِالْحَقِّ وَتَوَاصَوْا بِالصَّبْرِ By time. Allah swears by time and remember the principle in tafsir that Allah only swears by something which is mu'avvam. It is great in His sight. Allah just sees it to be something great and something significant. So Allah swears by time. Wal asr. He swears by time. Or He swears by a particular period of time. Indeed, mankind is at loss. This is the default position. Man is in a state of loss. Mankind is going to lose out. إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا Except those who believe, and that encompasses beneficial knowledge, the people who have the knowledge upon which that belief is based. وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ And they do righteous actions. وَتَوَاصَوْا بِالْحَقِّ And they advise one another to the truth. وَتَوَاصَوْا بِالصَّبْرِ and they advise one another to patience. So this is this cycle of gaining knowledge and acting upon it, calling others to it and being patient. As a result of what happens to you when you do that, this cycle of taking advantage of time with beneficial knowledge and righteous actions and calling people to Allah and being patient, that is so, so important when it comes to taking advantage of and taking the opportunities from what Allah has decreed for us. There are opportunities for knowledge, opportunities for righteous action, opportunities to call others to Allah. And there are situations that you go through that require sabr, they require patience, and they require a person to be steadfast, and they require a person to be committed to doing good deeds and keeping away from sins, and to be patient and, and, and insha'Allah ta'ala content with what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decreed. So this 
Sura really is like a, a title for this course because it tells us that we need to take advantage of the little time that we have. There's a very famous statement from Al Hassan al Basri, rahimahullah ta'ala, when he said, Ya bin Adam, innama anta ayyam, fa idha dhahaba yawmuk dhahaba ba'duk. O oh, son of Adam, you are just a few days. That's what your life is. It's a few numbered days. So when one day goes by, part of you goes with it. When one day goes by, part of you went with that day. Part of your life, a part of this limited time that you have. So really what we're looking at is particular times and places and situations that have been singled out by Allah Azza wa Jal in His Sharia for certain actions that bring us near to Him. And there's no doubt that as Muslims we are trying to take advantage of everything. We're trying to see the benefit and the opportunity in everything. Like the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, how amazing is the situation of the believer? Because every situation of the believer is good. It's either a chance for gratitude, it's either a chance for, for patience, and we're going to talk about the hadith in detail when we talk about the different situations that people go through. But the idea is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we are trying to take advantage of every situation that we can, of everything we go through in our life. We're trying to, to implement that very famous statement, I am hoping for, for reward from Allah when I'm asleep and when I'm awake. I'm trying to get advantage of everything. But there's no doubt that there are very specific times that have been singled out by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for special actions to bring you near to Him. That there are specific places that have been singled out by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That there are specific situations that a person goes through that have been singled out by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bring us near to Him. And really, it's not possible for us to mention every single one or every single good deed that can be done within them or every single evidence for them. But the idea is really just to revive our knowledge of these particular you know, times and these situations, these places, so that when we find ourselves in that situation, this triggers a kind of a, a memory and we say, right, this is a time. This is a time that many, many people are not aware of. This is a time for me to get near to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we're not just talking about sort of situations in which dua is accepted. Of course, that is a big part of it. But I'm, I'm trying to cover something wider than that. Looking at a variety of actions, times when it's recommended to fast, times when it's recommended to make dua, supplicate, times when it is recommended to, to, to offer a sacrifice to Allah, times when it is recommended to pray, uh, and so on, but specific times that the Sharia has highlighted or have been highlighted in the Sharia for us, along with specific places and specific situations that a person goes through. Our life is a constant change of, of different situations, whether it be health and sickness, traveling and remaining you know, at home and so on. Our life is a, a constant change of situations. Our situation doesn't stay in one uh, in one place for a very long time. So there are so many things that we can take advantage of and so many things that are, if not perhaps forgotten, then maybe just not at the forefront of everybody's mind. So we're not just going to look at just the times when your dua is accepted, but we're going to look at particular times, places and situations that the Sharia has singled out. We're going to look at the evidence, at least one evidence for each one some of the actions or whatever the action is that is specifically legislated at that time or that situation. Is it just a general time of virtue in which all good deeds are recommended? Or is it, is it a time for something particular? So maybe you're aware of the virtue of that time, but you're not maybe doing the actual action or the act of worship that is legislated to be done in that time. Uh, or perhaps there are others that people may not be aware of. And of course, there is no doubt that we won't be able to mention every single time or place or situation, nor will we be able to mention every single text or virtue. But the goal is to raise awareness of these amazing opportunities, to take advantage of them ourselves. And of course, this advice is to myself before it is to you. 
and to increase ourselves in nearness to Allah and not to be from the ghafilin, the people who are unaware, who they were in a state of ghafla, they, they, they just missed the fact that some great opportunity, some great chance to get near to Allah passed them by because they weren't aware of it or they weren't, they didn't recall it. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala didn't give them that tawfiq, that success to be able to take advantage of it. So the way that I've divided this course up, I've separated it into times, places and situations. And then I've further separated each category into subcategories, such as times during the day, times during the week, times during the month and times during the year. So the idea behind that is, again, uh, not to be necessarily comprehensive, but just things that I think that perhaps it's worthy of drawing your attention to and reminding myself of and reminding you of. فَذَكِّرْ فَإِنَّ الذِّكْرَى تَنْفَعُ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ Remind for reminders benefit the believers. So we're going to make a start inshaAllah ta'ala by talking about times to take advantage of. Times that you must not miss out on. And there's no doubt again that this has its own little introduction and that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has portioned the night and the day into various times, some of which are more virtuous than others. And of course, we said in, in Surah Al-Asr that when we were talking about Surah Al-Asr, that we're trying to take advantage of all of our time. But there are specific times that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has highlighted. And I think there's just an ayah that I can just bring to just to demonstrate that. And that is the statement of Allah Azza wa Jal, إِنَّ رَبَّكَ يَعْلَمُ أَنَّكَ تَقُومُ أَدَنَا مِنْ ثُلُثَيْ اللَّيْلِ وَنِصْفَهُ وَثُلُثَهُ وَطَائِفَةٌ مِّنَ الَّذِينَ مَعَكْ وَاللَّهُ يُقَدِّرُ اللَّيْلَ وَالنَّهَارِ الآية سورة المزمل uh, آية number 20 Allah knows that you stand in the night for uh, two thirds of it, or half of it, or a third of it, as do a group of the believers with you. And Allah is the one who decrees and measures out the night and he measures out the day. So Allah has decreed a proper measure for the night and some actions that are specific to the night. Here the night prayer is mentioned. Allah has given some specific actions for the daytime and has, has measured and, and put them in in proportion so that each period of the night and day has certain actions related to it and certain things that are encouraged within it. Uh, and again, the goal is not to mention all of them, but just to highlight some of them that maybe people uh, have not maybe necessarily paid attention to or have not yet taken advantage of. And of course, Allah has also divided the year into months and some of those months are more virtuous than others and he has placed within each month special days of virtue as well as certain days and nights that are even greater in virtue that are spread throughout the year. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, إِنَّ عِدَّةَ الشُّهُورِ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ اثْنَا عَشَرَ شَهْرًا فِي كِتَابِ اللَّهِ يَوْمَ خَلَقَ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ مِنْهَا أَرْبَعَةٌ حُرُمْ ذَلِكَ الدِّينُ الْقَيِّمُ فَلَا تَظْلِمُ فِيهِنَّ أَنفُسَكُمْ Allah said in Surah At-Tawbah, ayah number 36, the number of months in the sight of Allah are 12 months in the book of Allah since the day that Allah created the heavens and the earth. From them are four sacred months. So here look how Allah has chosen those four months to be have a particular sanctity, to be particularly sacred. Al-Ashwar al-Hurum. Allah has singled those out. Minha arba'atun hurum. ذَلِكَ الدِّينُ الْقَيِّمُ This is the upright religion. فَلَا تَظْلِمُوا فِيهِنَّ أَنفُسَكُمْ So don't oppress yourselves within those months. But just look at how Allah describes how He's divided the year into these 12 months. And he selected some of these months for a virtue that others don't have. And he's selected within them certain days of virtue that are different from the other days and certain times. And so bearing this in mind, we're going to just look at our first uh, category, which is times during the day. So just looking at every single day and looking at what we can do in that day and things that we can take advantage of and what those good deeds uh, should be. So that is what we're going to continue on with in the next episode, inshallah. And that's what Allah made easy for me to mention up until now. And Allah knows best. 
والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. We're now teaching exclusive live online classes to our students via Patreon. We have three classes every single week, a beginner's class, an intermediate class, and an advanced class which is taught in Arabic. If you want to find out more details and are interested in joining, then head over to patreon.com forward slash AMAU.